Once you have users that are created or edited, their um, emails will populate on the side here. And you'll be able to select, they'll be, you'll be able to select from here to edit them further. You can force reset passwords here, but you really shouldn't need to. I would just communicate with the staff and say, hey, uh, I either created it for you or it's updated, but you'll need to go in, use the forgot password as I demonstrated earlier um, and update their credentials accordingly. If staff are in a delete or uh, are in a deleted status and you find them, then you can restore them here. You'll, they'll just list here um, based on your selected staff and you'll be able to select and restore. Um, the way you usually see that indicated is there's a little symbol. So I'll just demonstrate that here. I'm gonna exit the tasks. I'm going, it's taking me out of all these tasks. I'm going back to the previous page where I was, users here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to uh, deleted here. And here's a whole bunch of deleted people. Here. All right, and you're noticing there are red X's uh, here that when, we, when I hover over it, it lets me know that's their deleted symbol. If I wanted to restore this person, let's say that this was someone I was trying to create and I come to find out, hey, they're already in the system here. Let me go back to start all tasks. Notice I checked them mm -hmm. and they're gonna now be on my list down here. And so the same thing happens when I create a new user or edit them successfully is their email shows up in my uh, selector um, list here on the left-hand side. Once I select this person, notice a few things. One, the account's disabled and there's a delete date here. Because I have some staff here selected, as I indicated earlier, they just populate in this list and I can go ahead and check their box mm -hmm. and select delete restore. You'll notice the red X go away. And now the red X is gone, but notice they have another little symbol crossed out when I hover over, it says disabled. So every now and then we have to go and make sure that the actions that are in place, that their accounts are set up and where we go there to make sure is we make sure we select them from here. And this is where we can enable and we can go ahead and save them there accordingly and save and they're all set. And so this was a success, changes saved. This person can now go in, use forgot password, update their password, their custom password, log in and utilize it. I'm gonna go back because this was purely demonstration. I'm gonna select them. I'm back in the delete restore users tab. You will not need to do this. You do not need to delete users, um, but I'm, I'm putting this back the way I found it in this demo. So that's what I'm doing here. That was actually a misspelling, Daniel, that particular account. Yeah. And um, that does happen. So as an SDC, if you do make an error and you save it, you can disable that account and, and recreate an account with, uh, with the correct spelling. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that's mm -hmm. completely okay. Okay. Now, that's creating and editing users. So that what I just went through and those tasks are the key places to select, to view them, to create, edit, delete, or restore, and enable their accounts. Yeah.